The only way we've survived in this area was our ability to live on the salmon. In the early days, you could see uh, all the fry swimming around. It'd be just like raindrops, but now uh, you hardly see them. You could see the annual returns of the pink salmon and the chum salmon uh, steadily declining. And we uh, attribute that to uh, the uh, uh, sea lice. In the normal environment, a little salmon like this shouldn't have any lice. Very, very rare to find any lice on them at all. But, but what's happening now is these little fish come down, they meet these huge populations of farm salmon, and as these little guys go by, they're going through clouds of baby lice looking for them. The little fish like to swim against the shore, and the fish farms are tied to the shore, so they get infected with lice. This guy's not ready for lice, he doesn't have scales. Um, scales are like a coat of armor, and so when the lice gets on before scales, it just eats right into his skin. And I did a study where I looked at 3,000 of them with lice just to see what happens, and the ones with lice die, and the ones without lice grew. You're telling me this fish is doomed? This fish is doomed if that louse grows up. And what is the percentage of them that have been affected? 60%. 60%. Yep, that's what we counted. You live in a community of fishermen. What, what do the traditional fishermen think about what's going on? Oh, they do not want those fish farms here. They see a, a, a degradation of their whole life. There's no fish left here at all compared to what it was 30 years ago even. I used to fish about 120 days a year up until about eight years ago. The last two years I fished, we only had seven days to fish for the whole season. So, I mean, you can't make a living at that. Since the fish farms have come in, then this has been going further and further and further downhill, the wild fishery. Do you think that the decreasing of the presence of salmon is directly linked to the salmon farming? It is. You know, we, we know that the science is there already to to prove that this is happening. It won't take long, uh, probably a couple of decades, and the salmon are gonna, are gonna be gone. It is a disaster happening right in front of our eyes. It's a very serious problem, but unlike so many problems in the ocean, we can fix this one really easily. You just take those farms out. You're not smoking any farm salmon? No, 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 we won't, uh, we won't handle any farm fish. Well, why? Why propose to? Well, I just don't believe, it's, I don't believe it's a healthy situation. You're taking an animal and you're trying to control all its problems and you're doing it with antibiotics, you're doing it with uh, pesticides, you're feeding it feed that is not natural to, to the animal at all. The whole nature of how it's created and given to us to eat. It makes no sense to me. The weight of evidence proving that salmon farms are causing horrible negative impact on our environment is overwhelming. So we're part of a campaign that's international, the Pure Salmon Campaign, and they've been doing a lot of work in Chile. And so you're starting to see more and more concerns about salmon farming in Chile. And if we can get more and more people in Norway concerned about it, and more and more people in Scotland, then these companies can't hide. Then they have to become even more accountable to what's going on. I don't think we've got to the point now where we can't turn it around. Like 90% of the market for the farm salmon here is in the United States. And if you could uh, convince the, uh, the people that buy the farm salmon that uh, you know, what they're doing is contributing to the destruction of the, uh, the wild salmon, they, they may stop. The salmon can't handle the sea lice, and as they die, my community is also dying. Our school is closing, our post office is closing. We really need to consider what we're doing to the salmon. The salmon are the key to this whole coast. We all need them.